Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna share with you an even more compact vlogging setup for your GoPro Hero 7 Black. Check it out. Hey guys, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video called the best uh, vlogging setup ever. And it was, or so I thought. Um, I've been using uh, the GoPro Hero 7 uh, Black for vlogging for a while now, for a few months since it came out. And uh, before that I used the Hero 5, which wasn't really as good. The audio was always awful. Uh, the 7 really fixed all the audio issues that I had and incorporated the addition of the Hyper Smooth, which is amazing. You don't even need a gimbal with the 7, as long as your lighting setup is, is decent. If you're outdoors, it's great. Indoors, it's not that great. But for just day-to-day -day vlogging and family vlogging, which is what I do, it's perfect. I mean, it's perfect. So I, had, I showed you in that video, and you can watch it right over here, uh, this vlogging setup that I have, which is which has been great. I have a, a, a Rode Video Micro knockoff made by Boya, which I'll link it below. It's a great microphone. And um, I have a little Joby Gorillapod, a little mini Joby Gorillapod that I use. And the, the piece de resistance is the uh, backbone side arm. I love this thing. I discovered this thing on, on Instagram on an ad ordered it on Amazon, I'll link it below, and it's amazing. I love this little bracket. It really makes the GoPro uh, what it's supposed to be, which is compact, not cumbersome. So a lot of guys, they've been using the, Go the GoPro for vlogging, and you know they use those cages, which is great because it, it adds extra protection, and it allows you to put like filters on the front and all this stuff, but it's just too big. It's too big for me. If, if you're gonna vlog with the GoPro, the point is to be, kind of inconspicuous and have something small but tweaking it a little bit these last couple of <laughs> this last couple of weeks I discovered an even more compact solution and that's this right here so this has been my vlogging setup for the last couple of weeks after I made the other video I got rid of the big microphone I've been actually using that on my new Canon I have the Canon SL2 now and I'm kind of gonna switch back and forth with the vlogging from that this camera the SL2 which I'm shooting on now because it has this awesome auto uh, dual pixel autofocus which I love and I can actually see myself in the little monitor on the side um, but for out going out and stuff doing stuff with the kids and family and stuff this is great this is great because it's small so um, what I did with this is I have one of these little ceremonic microphones that I picked up on Amazon I'll link it below as well this little microphone it's small but it packs a punch and I also bought a couple of these little wind screens, uh, a little dead cat that you can put on there. And you basically just attach it to that brick of an adapter that GoPro uh, sells you for $50. And you, I just used this amazing, these amazing 3M extra duty, heavy duty Velcro strips that just, you know, you can literally stick it anywhere. And there you go. This is my vlogging setup. I mean, look at how small that is putting it next to my face. Look how small that is. You know, when you're walking around like this, it's great. It's just great. So um, as you can see here, it's really simple to set up. You know, you have the sidearm bracket, which I love this thing. It just snaps right onto the GoPro. And so I just basically attach my Gorillapod to the bottom. <clears throat> it goes right there. Now, what I did do is that you know I, I put velcro i kind of put velcro all over this thing on the side of the sidearm on the back and even on the top and then i just cut out a little hole for the um for that top thread i didn't want to cover up that hole and you could actually just attach this little adapter right onto that top portion uh which works fine i uh, you know I, I was using it that way you could also i put velcro on the back i use it just attaching it to the back of it and that's been working out fine. You know, you, it covers up the screen, maybe like a little bit on the back, but not really, not that much. I mean, you can still, you know, you can still vlog with it and that kind of gives you that other option of not having this little adapter that I put on top because what the other option, which I've been using now is basically using this little adapter that I picked up on Amazon as well, I'll link it below. You just attach that, screw that in to the top 
and then the bottom portion, which is actually a, a cold shoe adapter plate, I put some Velcro on that. And once you stick this on there, it's on there. So, and there you go. The great thing about this setup with this little tiny microphone is that as you're vlogging, if you're now shooting something, you can just flip the microphone back at yourself and now you're picking up your audio, which is great, you know, and uh, great for, you know, documenting things. So again, this has been the ultimate, this is now the ultimate vlogging setup for me. Compact. Now somebody in my last video uh, commented uh, or messaged me, uh, well, you know, the good thing about those cages is that you can put filters on top, you know, uh, UV filters and ND filters and stuff. Yeah, but you can also just get ND filters that fit on the GoPro. And I'll link some below, which I haven't used, but I actually plan on purchasing. All right, so here I am back in the car. My last video, I did a lot of audio tests in the car. So I'm back in the car, um, just doing a little sound check. I'll do an outside check as uh, sound check as well. But as you can see here, I have it set up with the little microphone holding it about vlogging distance, as you can see right there. And I think the sound is pretty good. Um, is I think it's right up there, very, very close, if not almost exactly like having a Rode Video Micro. I know some of you guys will really disagree, but for vlogging, you know, most people are not really going to tell the difference. As long as the sound is clear and it's, you know, better than kind of like a cell phone audio or just no microphone at all. Um, I think this is pretty good. Now, the good thing about this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around so you can see is now, now I turned the mic at myself and now I'm basically like just filming the inside of my car. Um, there's my steering wheel, but you hear my voice because the microphone is pointed right at me and I'm just holding it maybe like, I don't know, like a foot away, maybe less than a foot away from my, my face. So I think that's, uh, that makes for a good vlogging setup. Now, just flipped it back around. And as you can see, that's a pretty good vlogging setup right there. Um, there's no more to say. Now I'm going to go outside and just kind of like let you see, uh, hear what it sounds like outside. All right, so now we're outside. You know, it's not that windy, so uh, the little dead cat isn't making much of a difference. But, I mean, we're outside. You know, there's a hustle to bustle. There's cars going. There's sirens in the background. And I'm holding it about a foot away from my face. I'm kind of vlogging with it now. So tell me, let me know, how's the audio? using this little tiny ceremonic microphone with a little teeny tiny dead cat on it. Um, you now there's a little wind that just picked up. I don't know if you can even hear that, um, but there's definitely sirens in the background. I think that's hard to avoid. There's like sirens back there. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the audio? How's the audio? How does it sound? Is this a good microphone? I think it is, you know, for the price, for the convenience of how small it is. I think it's awesome. So let's go back inside and wrap things up. Again, this is amazing. I love this setup. It's great for vlogging, great for just, you know, if you want to capture great audio, um, even though the 7 has really great audio. I got to say, I got to I tip my hat to GoPro. They really went and they um, improved on the 7 as far as audio is concerned and even just with the hyper smooth. I love it. So this has been my ultimate vlogging setup right now and i think i think this is the best vlogging setup right here ever now if you're telling me well okay i just don't trust this little mic that's fine if you don't want to trust that mic go watch my other video and see the other vlogging setup which you can use any microphone to uh, attaching it to the hot the cold shoe mount on top so check out that video but i think this is the ultimate vlogging setup i think i'm going to drop the mic literally I dropped the mic on that one because this is it right here. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this vlogging setup? Check out my other video. What do you think of that vlogging setup? Or if you think there's a better vlogging setup for the GoPro, let me know in the com comments below. Link the video in the comments. I'd love to check it out. I've watched so many videos on YouTube searching for the perfect vlogging setup. And once I saw this little bracket, I had I that's when the wheels started spinning and the light bulb went off and here it is the best vlogging setup for the gopro hero 7 black right here folks so again 
leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and we'll see you next time.